What's going on guys, it's Raul TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again and what I've got here is, I've got a 2012 Audi A1, it's the 1.6 diesel engine and we're going to go ahead and replace the oil cooler, housing and the oil cooler as well, not the easiest job in the world, I've done it before on Passat, Golf, things like that, but this is on the Audi A1, let's go ahead, let's do it, let's go! Okay, the first thing what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and take this plug off, uh, just flick it off, there's a little plug there as you can see on the throttle body that comes off then what we will do is we will go ahead and take this off this jubilee clip here and drop the screwdriver while you're at it take two go ahead and take that one off but I can't get no screwdriver or anything in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a 7 milli spanner or 7 milli little socket ratchet extension let's take that off Okay, I've got that pipe off, as you can see there, that rubber pipe is over here. Okay, and people ask me on YouTube and everything, how do I get this pipe off? Because it's absolutely a headache. Uh, I'm going to be straight up honest with you, it's absolutely a headache. It's a mission to take that off, but you have to prod it and turn it and pry it and everything, and eventually it'll come off. Uh, it's a struggle, but it, you just have to mess about with it and it, it will come off. Uh, what we do now is we get like a cloth or something, just put it there. You don't want to be dropping something down there. I mean, you have to take the full pipe off and you know really mess your day up. Okay, so that can stay there. Now what we'll do is we will go around to this side, take this off. It's a size 5 Allen key there. And Torx 30 down there, this one. And another one there. I've done this job on a Passat, on a Golf, so check that out as well. A slightly different, but 99% I would say pretty much the same. Right, so let's go ahead and take this pipe off. This this pipe here and we'll go from there okay that pipes off uh, I should have done this before I done anything else but uh, we'll do it now it doesn't really matter take that Torx off here Torx 30 then that little unit bracket everything moves out of the way so we can gain more access so let's just take that off. Okay, so now we can see there we can gain access to the oil filter housing and everything. So we'll leave that to a side there. We're going to go around here, take this little 10 milli off here, that which goes on the dipstick. If you've got a 10 milli spanner, 10 milli spanner will do. Socket ratchet. I just can't be asked going to the toolbox and getting the 10 milli spanner. So I'm just doing it with a socket and a ratchet. There we go, that's loose. Take, go ahead and take that off. There's another little plastic plug on the inside as well. It goes onto the oil filter housing, which is connected to the dipstick as well. So we have to take that off as well. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Okay, that's moved out of the way. What we'll do now is we are going to go go ahead and take the throttle housing off, the throttle body off. So basically, Torx 30, one here. So if you look from here, one here. There is another one right there. So from this side here, as you can just make it out, I'll point out in the edit, and there's another one on this side, I don't know if you guys can see this one, but right there. Okay, so if you look at it, there's one directly under there, one there, and another one down there. Okay, Torx 30, let's go ahead and take them three off. Okay, so I'll be straight polished with you, I've already cracked them with a ratchet and everything, socket and a ratchet, so I'm going to get my fingers in there now. I don't know if you can, obviously I can't show you guys and take it off at the same time because my hand's in the way. But you can just about make it out there. We'll take that one off. The bottom two off. Take the bottom two off first. Leave that top one on here. We'll take that one off last. Okay, so there's one bolt. The other one is there, as you can make it out, see if I can show you guys, and I can't really show you guys and take you off at the same time, so I'm going to take this one off, and I'll get back at you guys. Okay, so I've come to the last one now, so 
So basically, I've already cracked it and everything with the Torx 30. There we go, that's off. Put the bolt to the side. Not that dirty inside actually, normally they're absolutely packed out with carbon and you know, soot and everything. This one looks a bit clean. So anyway, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, the next thing what we're going to do is, can you see, there's the dipstick. And there's a little plastic plug there. Like a clip. We're going to go ahead and put the screwdriver through there. And just undo that. Put a bit of oil on there before you try taking it off. Take that off. And then the dipstick will be separated from the oil filter housing. Happy days. Okay, next job for us is we're going to take the oil filter cap off. We've got a 32mm socket, ratchet extension, anti-clockwise, you can't really get it wrong. We've done it hundreds of times. You guys should know this by now. Counterclockwise to take anything off, most of the things off. There we go, that moves out of the way. Okay, after that, what we're going to do is, can you see that pipe there? I've got the pliers onto that pipe. We're going to go ahead and take that pipe off. There's a coolant water pipe there. I can't really take it off with my left do left hand and do it at the same time and show you guys at the same time, but let's see if I can get my hand onto that. Okay, the clip's off. As you can see there, I'm going to just pry that uh, pipe off and uh, it should come off or you can just leave it on for now when we take the oil filter housing off that should come off with the oil filter housing we took that pipe off i mean we not took the pipe off, we took the clip off off the pipe i'm just going to leave it there what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take these torques off uh the, these are cr8 8m basically the multi-spline torques and uh, three of them are easy to get to actually one of them you need to go underneath the car get to it from there but as you can see there, there's one here, basically one there, one directly underneath it, which is there, I'm pointing at it there, okay, another one on this side, where is it, there, just there, okay, and one directly underneath that, so three of them you can get to from the top, one of them you can get to it from the top, but it'll be a lot easier from the bottom, so if you're sending it up, make sure it's nice and safe, as you can see there, I've already cracked them, I'm going to take that one off, there's another one directly underneath that, let's see if I can show you guys, without dropping the socket that is, as you can see there, so I've gone through this way, into there, take that one off as well, and to make it out there it's coming off, one on this side here, I'll show you guys and take it off at the same time. There we go, just there. So there are three of them, I can get to it from the top. The bottom one, I can get to it from the top as well, but if you wanna make your life a bit easier, I think from the bottom will be a lot easier. So uh, let's take them three off, or take two off. We'll leave this one on here. Don't take that one off completely. We'll take them two off, and then we'll send it up, take the bottom one off, and we'll go from there. I'm underneath the car and as you can see there, you can get to it dead dead easy, I've got the light there in the way, but uh, there we go. You can take it off nice and easy from the bottom, if you, but if you, if you are sending it up, make sure it's nice and safe, get the jack on it, get some axle stands on it. You can get to it nice and easy from the bottom. You can get to it from the top, I was going to take it off from the top, but then I, because I mentioned it, so uh, you know, I'll show you guys from the bottom. There we go, that comes off. We've got one more bolt on the top, let's take that off. Hopefully, that oil filter housing should come straight off. As you can see there, got the extension on there. Just take that off.
So there we go, that should come off now. There we go, that's off. That should be moving now, freestyling. If I just give it a little bit of a movement, persuading. There we go. That moves out of the way. But it's still connected onto that pipe there, as you can see there, it's connected to that pipe. So we'll just, we'll just pry that off from there. That oil filter housing, oil cooler, everything should come off nice and easy. Let's go. Okay, there we have it guys. The oil filter housing, oil cooler housing, everything is off. So as you can see there, there's the culprit. It's all collapsed in there. That's why it was leaking water, coolant. Uh, I mean, the job is easier than the other ones, you know, on the uh, VW Passats, on the Golf and uh, Skodas. But the only hard bit I found on this one is to get it out from there. Obviously, if you move this pipe out of the way, which is more of a job, hell of a job, taking all these pipes off and everything, then it'll just fly out. But obviously, this pipe gets in the way a little bit, so you just have to maneuver it. But it does come out. As you can see there, it's out. Right, uh, let's clean that up in there. Let's get the new one on. Okay, there's the old one. There's the new one. It had the oil filter cap on. Make sure you take that off, else you're never going to get it in there. Right, so what we'll have to do now is we take the pipe off this one. This pipe here. We're going to put it on there, onto that one. There we have it. Just basically swap the pipe over. Sorry about the mess on the bench. Obviously busy, uh, I, haven't, I haven't had time to tidy all the tools up, but anyway, there we go. Put that on, and uh, yeah, let's get it on in reverse order. Let's bang this bad boy on. Okay, so there's no two ways about it. I'm just going to try to attempt to get it back in there. There's no method or anything, unless you take that pipe off. So I'm just going to get it in there like that, and wiggle it about until it goes in. When you get both hands onto it, well, I've got it on there, in there. So I can just turn it around this way. Push that through there. It's not too bad, it's going in. There we go. That's in there. I'm going to make sure the seals are on. Make sure the seals are on. That's 100% you have to make sure. I can see the seals are on there. Put that pipe in there like that. So it's on there and push that all the way to the end there we go all we do now is get them lined up get the bolts lined up get the bolts lined up get the bolts on that's it happy days let's go okay guys i've got all the bolts on as you can see there that's on the one on this side both of them are on i've even got the bottom one on from the top here but if you're doing it for the first time i would recommend you do it from the bottom because I've done it a few times, I know where the bolt goes and everything. So I've just put it on from the top. If you're doing it for the first time, like I mentioned, do it from the bottom. It's dead, dead easy. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up on all four. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, the oil filter housing, oil cooler is on, all tightened up and everything. I just want hand tight. If you want to go with the correct torque settings, just check the auto data. Uh, what we're going to do now is finish everything off in reverse order. Put the oil filter cap back on. Put the throttle body back on. Everything in reverse order. Um, if you took it off, obviously, just go reverse, basically. Yeah, uh, common sense. Um, yeah, let's finish it off. Let's go. Right, there we have it all done and dusted. We've put everything back on, the oil filter housing, oil filters on, oil, the, the, the coolers back on, the pipes back on, the throttle bodies back on. Everything is back on in reverse order. All left to do now is we're going to put some coolant in there, run it to temperature, see, check for leaks, uh, see if it leaks or anything, everything like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. The job done. Well, like I mentioned, everything is done. I'm going to put some coolant in it. Run it to temperature, get it, uh, get it to temperature, make sure the fan kicks in and everything. And that's it, job done. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry, trying my best. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. Raul TV, Team R4UL. We'll see you guys next time.